silent film pianist. I'm up here in Glasgow to play specifically for Oliver Twist, which is a Frank Lloyd production from the mid-twenties. Um, I'm an improvising piano player. In other words, I make it up as I go along. And I've been doing the job for about 25 years or more. It's a very rare print that's been shown today. How proud are you to be a part of the, the filming experience today? Oh, it, it always makes an enormous difference when you're working with something that's not been seen for a long, long time. I mean, we, it's probably it's right to say that this film won't have been seen in Scotland since it was made. So um, it's, a, it's a special event, but they nearly always are. I mean, every film from the pre-1929 period is a rare film. And it's even rarer to get to sort of play in a big venue to a big audience. That's, that's the best it can be. In this age of digital processing and, and kind of heavily mixed sound, it's quite great to see an opportunity like this where the tradi uh, traditional discipline of playing music mm. can be alongside the, the movie itself. It also, though, is different in so far as with a digital soundtrack, you kind of like sit back and let the down soundtrack wash over you. There's always a thing whereby the audience is aware that there's a live instrument playing in the same room where they're watching the film. And that actually works in a different way, it works on their sensibilities in a different way, it pulls them in a little bit more into the music. And people say to me, you know, I forget you were there, which is great, that's how, that's how it should be. But actually you never quite forget that there's a musician there. It's a very odd dynamic and it's a unique dynamic, it doesn't exist in any other art form. It's very much a job I love. And when I first started, I did, you know, it was 10 years worth of time when hardly anybody was showing silent film and it was a real struggle. Now it's extraordinary, but it is also, as part of the job, is a real sense of control about it. You know, I can tell people how to feel about these characters. I can tell people what I think about the film. So you're leading people through the movie. So you've actually got a tremendous amount of power, and that's a, a great position to be in.